Hi guys, welcome to The Savera. This is your health coach Jennifer and you're watching Fit with Jen. The Savera is bringing to you a brand new fitness challenge, Daily Yoga. Daily yoga is a very special challenge because almost anyone can do it. You don't need any prior expertise or training. You don't need any fancy equipment and you can do it from the convenience of your home. So what are you waiting for? Excuses are not going to work. Let's get started. Hi guys, welcome to the Savera Times. This is your health coach Jennifer and you're watching Fit with Jen. Welcome to a brand new episode of my favorite challenge, daily yoga. Daily yoga is a very special challenge because not only do you not need any previous training or expertise to attempt these exercises, you also don't need any fancy equipment. And best of all, you can do it from the comfort of your house. So all you need is a little bit of time, motivation and a yoga mat. What are you waiting for? Let's get started with today's challenge. Today's challenge is focused on breath work, also known as pranayam. It is essentially breathing exercises. Why pranayam? Pranayam helps to improve the oxygen saturation in the blood and also the overall lung capacity. And breathing is life. So it is very important to incorporate these exercises in your daily life. Today we'll be doing a total of six exercises and there's a few things to keep in mind. Number one is your position. You can sit in Vajrasan like me with your legs folded underneath you. You can cross your legs in front of you like Sukhasan. You can sit on a chair with your feet touching the ground. However you decide to sit, make sure that your spine is straight, shoulders are relaxed and your neck is in alignment with your spine. So no slouching, you've got to sit straight and attentive. The second thing is that once you've attained a good position, try to maintain that position throughout. Unnecessarily fidgeting and changing your position can be quite distracting. The last thing to keep in mind is the duration. As I mentioned before, we'll be doing a total of six exercises and all of them would be for a duration of four to five minutes each. It is not very long at all, but if at all you feel dizzy or out of breath, simply pause the exercise, take a break, come back to the exercise as soon as you're able to. That is all that you need to keep in mind for today's session. And with that, let's get started with our very first exercise. It is called the Wim Hof technique. It is a very important technique, especially used for warm up when you need to warm up your body quickly, especially before a workout. In this, you will breathe in forcibly, but breathe out normally. Again, I repeat, your breathing in, that is inhalation, will be forceful, but breathing out, which is your exhalation, will be completely normal and relaxed. It is a little bit tiring, so please take breaks as and when necessary. Let's get started.
and change. Moving on to our second exercise for today, it is the exact opposite. It is called fire breath or the Kapalabhati Pranayam. In this, your breathing in will be normal, but breathing out will be forceful. And when you breathe out, you're going to contract your stomach and push the air out with a lot of force. We are going to practice it for four to five minutes. Again, take breaks as and when necessary.
and change. Let's move on to our third exercise for today. It is the Anulom Vilom Pranayam, also known as the Alternate Nostril Breathing. You're going to take your right hand thumb and block the right nostril. Breathe in from the left, breathe out from the right. Now you'll breathe in from the right and breathe out from the left. Breathe in from the left and out from the right. This pattern you will uh, keep on repeating for four to five minutes.
tangent. Let's move on to our exercise number four. For our fourth exercise today, we are going to do pursed lip breathing. In this, you're going to take a deep breath in through the nose, but you will breathe out through the mouth. This particular exercise is very helpful to relieve symptoms of stress and anxiety. So make sure you make it a part of your life.
and change. For our next two exercises, you have to lie down on your back in the supine position. So go ahead and lie down on your back. For the next exercise, you're going to keep your left hand on the chest and right hand on the stomach. It is called a belly breathing. You're going to take a deep breath in. And when you breathe in, your stomach is going to expand naturally and push against your hand. When you breathe out, your stomach will contract naturally and fall away from the hand. It's not something you're doing consciously, it's happening naturally. You just need to focus on the movement of your belly. and change. For our last and final exercise today, you go ahead and relax your body, relax your legs. 
It is called Vilom Pranayam. You will breathe in by taking short pauses and breathe out also by sh taking short pauses. Let's practice it for four to five minutes.
and change. Slowly move your body on the side and get up. So guys, this was our session for today. Let's complete today's session by chanting the Mahamartanje Mantra. Go ahead and repeat the words after me. Om Triyambakam Yajamahe Sugandhin Pushti Vardhanam Purva Rukmeva Bandhana Mrityor Mokshi Mamrata Rubbing your hands together, placing them on your eyes, your ears, and your heart. So guys, this concludes our session for today and I'm hoping that you enjoyed today's session as much as I did. Stay consistent to see consistent results. Do follow us on all social media to stay updated with more such cutting-edge fitness challenges. That is it for today. Stay tuned. Until next time.